hello there it's Derek and welcome back to the channel so in today's video I'm just gonna be sharing with you how you're gonna be able to just customize your keyboard like this this Apple keyboard you see it's very boring sometimes you just see this white background for so long and I'm just gonna help you to just customize it from this to something like this that is very very cool you can just customize it with any background you feel like you want so this picture is actually a picture I decided to put right here. So I'm just going to show you the steps and how you're going to be able to turn your iPhone or iPad keyboard into something like this. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to go to your app store and then you type in Gboard. So you type in Gboard, you type in this. I'm going to leave the link in my description though. So this is the first one you need to tap and then you need to download this application right away. So this is basically the default Google keyboard for Google Pixel phones. And you're also going to be able to use it on your iPhone or your iPad. So when you download this application and then you hit on open, right? This is how the app is going to be like. So first of all, what I want you guys to see is you see this side, you're just going to tap here like this. And then you're going to pick any random picture you feel like you want to pick. So you probably want to pick maybe this one. Let's pick this. And then you're going to choose between the size you feel like. It's actually going to display the size it has been highlighted. So that is where you have to pick. And then you click on choose beneath it like this. So you're going to pick on choose. So after you pick on choose, you see right here, when I just change it like this, it's going to be deep. When I change it like this, the keyboard is actually going to be deep or dim. So this is how the background is going to look like. Pay how I'm just tuning it. How is that going to be like so if maybe you are okay with how a virus and then you hit on done like this and basically you are done so afterwards you can just go to your iMessage and then you you're gonna see how it's gonna display so you see when I hit on iMessage right now it has changed right away into the new picture I used and that is basically cool so this is a very cool step I think it's gonna be helpful to anyone you guys need to try it out because this keyboard is actually gonna give you a different thing from this one which is a bit boring we've been seeing it for long and i think this one is going to be helpful for you so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you're going to be part of the team so that we build a great community because i have a lot of videos i want to share with you and if you're interested in tweak apps too just hit the subscribe button because i have a lot i'm going to share with you about that and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace